everyone, this is Space 2 GFX, and this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make uh, the plasma nade that I showed in uh, one of my uh, speed arts. I'll just see if I can find that right now to show you guys. It is right here. Alright, so I'll just use this for reference. My computer is a little slow right now since I'm rendering this. Um, the first thing you want to do is you grab a sphere. And I'll just zoom in a little bit there. You can make the segments to uh, 31, I believe I had it in the video. So, uh, and the reason it's 31 is there is uh, more um, polygons to work with, more of the, you know, I can make more of these shapes here. But uh, you're gonna, what you're gonna do, you're gonna duplicate this, and then uh, make this one um, hidden. So you're just gonna double click on these uh, little circle things here. And you're gonna select this one. You're gonna make it editable and go to the. Uh, yeah, just click this button here and you go to the top view. And uh, you want to make sure you're on the polygon editor, which is the thing right here. And select the arrow tool and just select uh, this corner right here, just one fourth of the sphere. Just make sure I get everything. Oh, and this one. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to um, you want to split this away from the rest of the sphere. So you're going to hold on your keyboard V, functions, and then split. One more, oh shit. One more time, you're going to hold V on your keyboard, and this thing will pop up. And you go to functions, and then split. Or you can uh, press U, and then P, I believe. But uh, once you did that, it, uh... It split this from the sphere. So this is our sphere right here, and this is the the other edge. So just delete this, and uh, you got your sphere. I mean, not your sphere. You got the uh, one fourth of the sphere, and this is what we're gonna be modeling. Um, the first thing we're gonna do, uh, what I did, I took these faces here. I selected them, and I right clicked and melt. And another, and one more thing we're gonna do, we're gonna click on this or any face it's just we're selecting one of them and do control A or command A if you're on a Mac and then you wanna right click extrude inner and you're gonna put it you're gonna extrude inner by nor zero excuse me zero point three and click apply and then what you're gonna do you're gonna right click extrude make sure you have create caps on and you extrude by uh, by an offset of five if it's not it should be 5 by default, but just make sure it's 5. And you're going to click Apply. So now it kind of it's a little thicker. And, uh, well, so now we're going to start uh, cutting holes in it. So the first thing we're going to do, um, we're going to select, let's see what I do in here. Okay. I'll select uh, rows like this by skipping one. So you just hold Shift on your keyboard and select these. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure it's not around any of the the edges here. So I can do like go like going straight down or something like that. But I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. And then just go like this. And what you wanna do now? Actually, uh, yeah, I think that's what I did. It's, but but you basically get the point on how to make this. Um, the same thing we did with the whole thing. You're gonna right click, extrude inner by nor by 0 0.3, apply, and then right click, extrude, and instead of five, you're gonna click on you're gonna put negative five, and make sure create caps is always on, and click apply. So now um, we can do get the arrow key, and then just start deleting these faces where we had them highlighted. And we'll just do that for all sides. But make sure you keep deleting so you can see through it because there's a lot of a lot of faces. They like three layers, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so you want to get uh, extrude nerves. So you want to go in this section and no, not extrude nerves. Hyper nerves. I'm sorry. 
and then you want to get that and drop this uh, the polygon that we're editing and you go drag it into the hyper nerves you see it makes it this kind of rounded edge sort of thing anyways like I said again just right click extrude enter um, by about yeah but again make sure you have halfway on each side and then um, right click extrude by negative 5 and again make sure create caps is on just click apply Okay, so now you're gonna uh, recheck the the box on ex on the hyper nerves. So uh, now I'm pretty sure it looks exactly the same as the speed art. Okay, so once you basically have that modeled, um, you wanna um, unhide the sphere and you wanna copy the hyper nerves and click R on your keyboard for rotation. And while holding Shift, just rotate it uh, 90 degrees and then copy it 90 degrees again and you just want to keep doing this so it surrounds the whole sphere so once you get four you just want to select uh, all all four this is a faster way to do it select all four and just hold oh the way I'm copying these actually I'm holding control and just dragging down and then just rotate that this one 180 degrees And then there you have it. That's that's all I. This is actually the exact model of the other one. Um, I'm not going to show you how I textured it because those are mostly from a material pack that I bought. So there's really not much use in telling you, but um, but that's how you model it. You can do this for with a sphere or um, let's see, can you do it with a, a cube sphere? I think that's about it. I did do it with a platonic, but it, did, it it looked cool, but it didn't really work the way this does. It was a little tricky. But uh, yeah, a sphere and a cube. But you can all you can do all sorts of things with this type of modeling. Um, when you're all done, you might want to group them. But yeah, uh, yeah, that was that's basically it. Please uh, like the video.